Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's vlog, uh, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag homeschooling. So, bago natin gagawin yan, so, huwag yung kalimutan na mag-subscribe sa, sa aking channel, Miss Sophia, and uh, like, comment down below, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated po kayo sa aking video. So, So guys, I'm back. So, paano ba natin i-homeschooling natin yung anak natin during the pandemic? So, alam naman natin ngayon na mahirapan tayong mag, uh, magpa-anak sa, sa ating anak sa school. So, ituturo ko sa inyo yung way para maging, ano na yung anak natin, maging, yung anak natin, maging aktibo din sa Uh, sa bahay. Hindi lang yung puro lang sila sa uh, screen time. So, kailangan natin bibigyan natin sila ng activities na marami silang matutunan. So, so, so una ang gagawin natin, so, ayan, uh, in, 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 ano ko dito, uh, sinusulot ko dito kung ang um, first natin uh, to organize your homeschool learning. So, first is uh, yung learning space. So, you have to create it, design it. So, ano ba yung ano ba yun ano ba yun so so alam naman natin yung homeschooling is fun ha fun 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 so exciting and often messy alam natin yung very ano na rin uh, magulo yan uh, bawat paligid maraming kalat so asahan natin yan guys kasi alam natin na pag mag homeschooling tayo sa ating uh, uh, children maraming marami kang ma ma-discover sa kanila so yan po kailangan nating living and learning is under the same roof uh, can quickly lead to this organization and chaos not a great environment for fostering happy students for a parent te or teachers so yan po kailangan lang natin <clears throat> meron tayong mater materials so ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga materials na um, pinaturo ko sa akin anak in a daily routine so so ituturo, ituturo niyo sa kanila for about one preschool for one to three uh, about 15 minutes or just like that pero pag more than uh, four to six years old or more than that kailangan sila one hour so pero kailangan ahead of time kaya pero kailangan mo rin silang bago mo gagawin yan so kailangan <clears throat> first mong gagawin kailangan magkakain muna kayo for the breakfast So, hindi muna kayo yung uh, diretso kayo mag-study. So, kailangan nyo muna siyang i-fresh up. So, pagkisin niya agad. So, kailangan natin silang i- ano, <coughs> pakainin muna. Mag- mag-something muna na, na, na <coughs> maging ready sila sa ating pag uh, pagtuturo natin sa kita. So, so, yan guys. So, so, you have to be considered posting a printed schedule after their hub. So, they they always know that that Tasks need to get done and what goals that they're working on that day or week. So, so the se second, so pangalawa, follow, follow a daily schedule. So, kailangan may schedule tayo guys. So, every day meron tayong schedule. So, from Monday to um, Friday or sa ibang bansa kasi is Sunday to Thursday, Friday. So, sa dito sa mga sa ibang bansa is Sunday to Thursday. So, homeschooling is a brings brings a wonderful level of flexibility, spreading is spontaneity to children's education. So, however, um, without a clear structure, it can be easy to get distracted and go off track. So, here is the few tips for making clear and effective schedule. So, first color code by type of activity or school subject to quickly see what you're working on at any given day or time so helpful for any age including adults so but its simplicity can be especially useful for younger children who are learning how to use a schedule so meron tayong schedule guys so guys <clears throat> so magagawa tayo ng flow charts para meron tayong schedule for a uh, daily uh, daily nila gagawin na ang ating uh, anak so sa akin kasi dalawa yung anak ko so yung preschool at saka yung uh, kindergarten pero mag grade 1 na siya uh, this year so 
meron kami ano first grade yun, like for example for the preschool ito this is the last ano namin to tung preschool ano na to schedule namin so ang for example ang ano namin is by August for example August namin for the month of August meron kami uh, all about me so andyan yung so from the month of 5 to 11 it's uh, five senses 12 to 18 is a uh, hygiene my family and emotion so depende lang sa inyo kung um, anong topic nyo for the month okay so for example for the next month for the september so august it's we're done so finally we are done for august so for the september naman it's about animals like zoo um farm pets oceans or dinosaur or anything else na mga animals basta uh, wild animals mga african animals sa lahat ng mga animals na mga wild or anything so yan guys so yan yung month of September. So, so ano nga yun sa August? Yung August is uh, all about me. So, sa September naman is about animals. So, guys, a uh, fun, so, October is a uh, fun things. For example, uh, uh, month of uh, uh, scavenger hat, para yung mag, ano ka, mag-discover ka sa labas yung mga, uh, mag- hanap ka ng mga spider, kahit anong mga mahanap nyo na para maka, ano yung bata, uh, meron silang something na, something nyo na maka, ano sila sa isip nila uh, ma-excite sila sa labas uh, from outside not only from the inside na nandito lang tayo sa bahay so kailangan din natin silang ilabas sa ano uh, labas ng, uh, like ano natin sila sa mga yung mga farm or anything na uh, sa mga um, na, ano nyo sa lugar nyo na makikita ng mga anak nyo yan mas maganda yan so pero sa this time kasi uh, alam nyo naman uh, pandemic so um, it's hard for us to go out yeah so fun things like nature scavenger hunt carnival kites or uh, beach so yan po yung mga ito yung mga ano po guys guide so <clears throat> community helpers so dito naman tayo sa for the month of november so november is a firefighter uh, firefighters, police, doctors, vi- veterinarian, whatever, soldiers, uh, teachers. Um, that's all for the month of November. So, community helpers. Ayan yung community helpers, guys. So, so, num- trans- so number, uh, sorry, uh, from the month of December. So, dito naman tayo sa December. So, transportation. So, uh, like, uh, so, 1 to 5 is a trains, 9 to 15, cars, na ganyan, 16 to 22, airplanes, 23 to 29, boats, 30 to 5 is bus, o, so, yan. Yan, itutur natin sa kanila, guys. So, so for the month of January, uh, month of January is 6, 6 to 12, fruits, it's about fruits. So, 30 to 19, it's a pizza. So, it's about food, guys, so, like, fruits, pizza, snacks, or vegetables. So, kailangan din natin i-introduce natin sa kanila. Uh, i- uh, ano din natin sa kanila? Ituro natin sa kanila about sa food. So, ano yung mga healthy food at saka unhealthy food. So, yan guys, ka, k- uh, kailangan ituro natin sa kanila. Kung meron kayong, ano guys, so, i- meron akong, i- ano dun sa description box, pwede kayong mag-print doon. It's all about free. So, hindi po ako ang gumagawa niyan. I'm, disclaimer, I'm not, um, and that the one who made that so uh, mga ano ko lang yan mga free resources from the other um, mga um, teachers na gumagawa niyan so i-share ko lang sa inyo guys the health sharing is caring nga so so anyway guys so we are now so nandito tapos na tayo sa food so so tapos na tayo sa fruits pizza snacks and vegetables kung meron pa kayong dagdag uh, pwede guys so kayo na yung bahala uh, mga parents uh, ma, ma, uh, um, katulad ko na nandito lang sa bahay uh, kahit ano eh kung ano idagdag nyo pa so that's so about sa February naman it's about books so kailangan din natin sila introduce ng books so ano ba yung mga books na i-introduce natin sa kanila so like Lama uh, Dr. Sayos, Eric Carl, or kahit anong books na maganda bita, yung mga ano, like Osborne, like for example, itong Osborne. So, this is the one of my favor, uh, favorite na ipabasa ko sa anak ko. So, ito yung 
so young read reading so ito the clumsy crocodile so so ito yung as born so yun ito mas gusto ko siyang ano author cah yung ano maraming maganda guys sa uh, ipag sa ganyo kasi kas kami kasi dito is more and books talaga ipina uh, bumili kami sa books para lang sa anak namin so we introduce them from the beginning para maging faster learner sila faster reader so para pagdating ng pa time pagdating ng mag school sila so uh, hindi na sila yung uh, nahirapang magbasa so I, I encourage you guys I encourage to all parents soon to be parents that na uh, uh, turuan natin yung anak natin from uh, from uh, sa mababa hanggang sa pinaka taas so wag nyo silang pilitin uh, wag nyo silang pilitin magbasa uh, let them uh, ano mo na um, um, ako anong gusto nilang gawin uh, basta yun lang ang ano ko yung uh, ma advice ko sa inyo guys kasi for me uh, reading is very crucial it's very important to us na para maging uh, ano sila maging magaling silang maging reader so ang gagawin niyo lang dai uh, like sa mga preschool sorry <laughs> nabulol na ako uh, um, sa mga preschool ay ituturo ko sa inyo guys mamaya so sana ba tayo guys so, sobrang tano na ako so for the month of march so it's about insects and bag so so like for example ants caterpillar so introduce mo sila guys sa mga about uh, mga insects and bugs so like honey honey bee, bee mga bees ladybugs worms like dragonfly so let them introduce also the guys so para maka ano din sila, sila matakot so guys no so i ano natin sila guys so from this this march yan yung about sa insects and bugs so april ano naman na introduce natin so kailangan din natin sila interest about the sports so kailangan din natin maano nila maging active sila para at least malaman din nila kung paano sila mag uh, uh, hindi lang yung um, more in panood lang sila so kailangan natin silang na maka, matuto din sila about like for example basketball, baseball soccer or um, acrobat so but this acrobat is very dangerous muna kailangan talaga nilang kailangan nilang merong uh, ano yan uh, magtuturo sa kanila kung paano gagawin so uh, mga uh, tawag dito uh, ballet ballet dance yan ma maganda yan guys sa mga ano ituturo cha yung mga te tennis yan ituturo natin yung yan yung mga about sa mga sports so anything mga dancing yan uh, kahit anong ituturo nyo sa, uh, para maging ano din sila maging aktibo din sila guys so the physical activities yan yung mga ano natin sa kanila so for the month of May so nandito tayo sa May so kayo na yung magbahala guys from the month of 2020 or 2021 uh, preschool year or kindergarten year so kayo nang bahalang mag lagay sa inyong ano kung ano yung schedule nyo guys so I just want to show you all the things this year para meron kayong idea sa akin so pag anything na meron kayong tanong sa so just comment down below lang at ibibigay ko ah uh, sorry uh, magko magreply po ako sa sa inyo diyan so from the month of may is about the space so diyan sila ma-excite dahil space so marami sila makita like stars moon like so introduce natin din sila niya guys ah uh, ano natin sila um uh, encourage natin sila na magbasa about the about the planets about the moon about the stars uh the rockets and astronauts so yan guys so interest natin para meron din silang idea so it's about science so di ba nakakatuwa pag na na ano natin sila na uh, binigyan natin sila ng pansin di ba so uh, yan yung ang um, pinaka uh, yan yung ano sa month of may about the space so ano nga yung star planets moon um rockets and astronauts so moon and sun okay guys so it's uh, for the month of June. So, community places. Ano ba yung community places natin? Iano natin, guys? So, it's about the grocery store, bakery, park, library, farmer's market. So, eh, ano din natin sila? Introduce natin sila. Ano ba to guys? Ano ba to It's a mall. Ito, it's a park. At uh, ito yung fish market. So, dito tayo sa ano, um, about that. This is a grocery store, um, library, 
So yan guys, ito is a bakery, it is ito ay isang parlor, salon. So yan guys, oh, yan ituturo natin sa kanila yan guys um, para alam nila uh, hindi sila yung ano um, kasi uh, para kung gusto niyo sila i hindi na sila sila i homeschool. So at least marami marami na sila alam kung gusto niyo i school niyo sila sa private or public school, right? So like for example na lang ha kay ano ha kay 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 tawag niya to um, Cheska Cheska Garcia na si ang um, asawa niya si ano um si nakalimutan ko yung husband niya na, <laughs> si si Dog Kramer pala guys so di ba di homeschool din yung mga anak niya so nakaka-inspire sila guys in a way kaya nakakatawa sila kung um tayo din na apply natin kung mag-homeschool kayo. Pero depende po sa inyo guys kung kung meron kayong time, tuturuan nyo lang din. Tapos, uh, kasi for for uh, for us ha, for me ha, um, nag, so, as, yung anak ko kasi nag-aaral din naman sa ano, sa school. Uh, pagkatapos na sa school, like during weekend, so wala tayong ginagawa, ba diba? So, uh, meron para kaming, meron pa rin kaming uh, ano, uh, pag-aaral pa rin. So, uh, like one hour, like that para or 15 minutes or 30 minutes na para maging ano rin sila meron silang matutunan so para hindi yung puro din laro pero kailangan din sila may rami silang gagawin hindi yung puro lang din tayo study 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 so play ano um, um, magturuan kahit anong gagawin nila basta uh, may matutunan lang sila guys so for the month of uh, July it's uh, outdoor so like uh, magpipiknik kayo or camping or counter fire count, sorry country fair or fishing so yan guys yung about sa fishing na gusto gusto nila yan guys so, about sa fishing diba kasi dalang pag makita nila yung fish so nakakatawa ah there's a fish so so that's all guys so it's about preschool year so uh, so yan um so yan yung na pang uh, pang tria ah. map out of the school year ahead of time so kailangan meron kang ahead of time pag gumagawa ka ng ano for the uh, year to to track progress on your goals to, kung meron kayong goals and plan out a uh, big projects so breaking up big goals and project into smaller steps makes them more manageable and you're less likely to let the details fall through the cracks the, the, there are lots of ways to map your curriculum and goals, including the organization charts, mind, mind maps, and road maps, and flow charts. So, yan guys, so yan, yan yung vis visualizing plans can help you to stay organized, see your progress, and a glance. So, yan guys, so number four, so set learning goals together. So, so mag, uh, pag mag set kayo ng ano ba yung goals nyo, so uh, together. So, example, homeschooling gives your child the opportunity to direct and customize their education. Goals are an important part of the process. When you have a vision, a plan for where you want to go, you are more likely to achieve those learning outcomes and properly align your day-to-day -day curriculum. So, yan guys. So, as the parent, teacher, outline some key learning objectives for your child ahead of time. So, this will likely based on the stage state or national requirements your personal education um philosophy as well as your child's age and abilities so ganun din guys so kailangan din yun so once you have some broad objectives and benchmark sit down with your child and get their input so ganun din guys so kailangan din natin yung mayro tayong input kung ano so work together to set learning goals broken down by year, semester, and month. So this is also a great opportunity to teach to teach your child goal setting skills and best practices such as the SMART formula. So number five. So ano ba yung five? So take learning beyond the classroom. So one of the best parts of the homeschooling and one of its greatest advantages is the flexibility to learn outside at traditional classroom settings. So yun like mga ito yung mga example ng textbooks beyond the textbook ha so play board games practice baking and cooking yan uh, yan din ang uh, natin itutunan natin sa mga learn household management skills like laundry or simple budgeting write emails to friends and family visual visit local businesses go to the far fish go, go to the farmers market go to the library so yan yung mga learning opportunities beyond the textbook so 
So make time for this opportunity in your daily schedule and keep an open mind, explore new, new skills, meeting new people, and playing are all important ways we learn and grow. So incorporate those experiences into your homeschool environment for a well-rounded curriculum. So number six, make learning a family activity. So yan guys, so ito yung ang pinaka-learning about family <clears throat> activity. Like for example guys, uh, read together. So uh, sa aking anak kasi, um, we started about, uh, nag-read siya about 3 years old siguro guys. So, pero nag-start, ano kami, uh, letter sounds muna guys. So, ito yung mga <clears throat> turon ko sa kanya about letter sounds guys. Kung wala kayong ano guys, para hindi kayo gumastos na doon. So, we have to be practical lang guys. So, it comes of ano, para less tayo ng ano, lalo pag nag-budgeting tayo guys. No? Kahit, ganito guys, pa, ano nyo lang, uh, marker print nyo lang, eh, gano'n nyo lang, tapos i-print nyo, i-print nyo, or i-ano nyo lang, kahit uh, basta yung makapal na ano, tapos ipalaminate nyo, para na kayo kung anong gusto nyo gawin sa ano, sa letter sound. So, ito yung letter sounds na guys pero lower case ang i-introduce natin guys so yung iba uh, kap, uh, ano um, um, capital pero sa akin kasi lower case ang ano ko inuuna ko z a ah. so yan guys d so yan so yan guys introduce natin e f yan so yan so Ito yung tinuturo ko sa sa akin anak para alam niya na uh, ito yung unang hakbang na para marunong sa magi magbasa. So so letter sounds. So yan guys. So explore a new hobby or have family member teach a skill. So make a craft. So yan nagagawa din kami ng make of craft guys. Kaya, for example, yung, alam niyo yung mga toilet uh, roll. Alam niyo uh, yan eh ano niyo ito, ito uh, magawa kayo ng kahit ano nyo guys basta maka, maka learn lang yung anak nyo tapos i eh, papinturahan nyo lang siya para meron siyang alam nyo yung ano niya yung hands na na yung pag grip ng kamay niya so um, papinturahan nyo kung meron siyang watercolor or crayon so anything guys na available nyo sa bahay yun ang inaano nyo sa kanya na nga so so make a crafts um tourist in your own town so like dito kasi meron silang opera house so pwede namin siya ito tour doon uh, or sa zoo ito tour uh, pwede namin siya ano doon so but this time hindi muna dahil may pit wala pang napaka uh, close moon close ngayon so walang open kahit ni mall wala <laughs> So, take a family hike. So, mag-hike. Ang ginagawa namin, guys, kasi dito kasi sa likod ng flat namin, meron siyang, ano, meron siyang, ano, sand dunes. So, doon kami, pumupunta kami doon. <clears throat> like, a visit museum. Yan, guys. Or, um, so, there are countless ways to involve the family and make learning fun. So, so, take a family trip to zoo. O, oh, yan na nga guys, sinasabi ko yung zoo. So, hindi pa muna tayo makapunta sa zoo dahil uh, pandemic na. So, bawal pa ngayon. So, so ayan guys. So, nakakatawa lang dahil <laughs> kaya sabi mo na dito lang kami sa bahay. Um, binigyan ko pa rin sila ng time na uh, ano, uh, meron silang matutunan kahit paano. So, at least, di ba? So, Ayan. or practice or economic skills by cooking together. So, kami, meron kaming cooking together. Uh, how to plan a um, meal. So, pwede rin kayo mag uh, number 7. So, you have to collaborate with other homeschoolers. So, yan guys, other homeschoolers <clears throat> in your area. So, pwede kayo mag uh, connect po kayo sa mga homeschoolers in your area or online, pwede yun guys uh, to collaborate and share uh, mag-share kayo yun ng mga resources so pwede rin yun guys so yan yung uh, 7 so 7 tips and tra tracks um, ano, um, for the beginners yeah so so there are 7 uh, homeschool tips and tricks for beginners so yan guys so sana meron kayong natutunan sa akin guys so anyway um 
is a small glance lang guys. So, yan. So, meron akong pinaprint sa kanya. So, next time, I will show you all of the interactive notebooks. So, next time. So, meron kami ganito guys. So, if you want some copies, just comment down below. I, I ano ko sa inyo dito guys. Uh, sisend ko to sa inyo guys. But, these all copies is from the uh, website uh, Sparkle Box. So, uh, don ko yun don don ko yun pinet friends so you can comment down below to si bibigay ko yung uh, website you can uh, email uh, i-send ko sa inyo to guys so so yan so yan this all all of this have been introduced to my son kasi tapos na yung uh, panganay ko so this guy this this is also yan guys so kailangan din natin a e E O O so ito yun tinuturo ko sa anak ng anak so yan ito yung mga face to caption yung mga data sa anak ko tinuturo ko sa kanya so guys um next time ulit guys so i hope you i hope um you enjoy watching to my vlog today and please don't forget to to subscribe um like Give a thumbs up and comment down below naman for uh, kung anong gusto nyong i, uh, idagda, ay paano sa akin kung anong gusto nyong uh, for the next vlog na gagawin ko. So, I hope uh, it's helpful to, uh, to you, all of you, itong ginawa kong tips and tracks um, sa mga gusto <clears throat> for the homeschoolers, sa mga gusto mag-homeschooling. So, sana nakatulong to sa inyo guys. At, at san, alam nyo na sharing is caring nga diba so <clears throat> ito lang based on my experience ha so I'm not uh, ano, editing all of these books kasi ito lahat is, is a free, a free resources okay so yan it, ano, ito, ano ko sa inyo sa inyo guys so about the kasi inintroduce ko na siya about the science diba so about planet so I introduce them about the uh, what is um what eight planets. So, ayan guys. So, meron siyang Pluto, Moon, Pluto, yan. So, ayan guys. Si Uranus, meron siyang Neptune. So, so, ayan guys. So, bye-bye guys. Time out. What's up? What's up? Bye-bye. See you next time. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Zzz.